In response to the initial rejections, the king opens the invitation to all, both the good and the bad, gathering everyone he can find to fill the banquet hall. This reflects God's all-inclusive love and mercy. He welcomes sinners and the righteous alike. My dear friends in Christ's love, in today's gospel passage, Jesus shares with us the parable of the wedding feast. This parable is a powerful message about God's invitation to each one of us to partake in His kingdom. A king prepares a grand wedding feast for his son and sends out invitations to those he had initially chosen. However, to the king's surprise, the invited guests make excuses and decline the invitation. Some are busy with their own affairs, while others mistreat and even kill the king's messengers. This part of the parable reminds us of the times when God extends his invitation to us through various means, through prayer, through scripture, through the church, and through our life circumstances. How often have we been too preoccupied with our own lives or too indifferent to answer his call? In response to the initial rejections, the king opens the invitation to all, both the good and the bad, gathering everyone he can find to fill the banquet hall. This reflects God's all-inclusive love and mercy. He welcomes sinners and the righteous alike. It shows that his invitation is not based on merit, but on his abundant grace. But there is a warning in this parable as well. When the king comes to inspect the guests, he finds one without a wedding garment and he is speechless. This guest represents those who accept God's invitation but do not prepare their hearts. They do not wear the wedding garment of righteousness and repentance. Just as the guest in the parable is cast out, we must understand that merely accepting the invitation is not enough. We must be transformed by God's grace, clothed in His righteousness, and live a life worthy of the invitation. Today, let us reflect on how we respond to God's invitation. Are we making excuses prioritizing worldly matters over our spiritual life? Or are we accepting His invitation with open hearts and lives transformed by His love and grace? Let us remember that God's invitation is an extraordinary gift and we are called to embrace it with humility and sincerity, allowing Him to transform us into His likeness. May we all respond to God's invitation with gratitude and love, and may we continually strive to wear the wedding garment of faith, righteousness, and repentance. In doing so, we will find ourselves at the joyous and eternal banquet of God's kingdom. Amen.